InDesign opens, you'll see a splash screen. As you can see, you can open a recent document or create a new one. For this option, we will be creating a new document. This is a new document dialog box where you would actually set your options. In this case, instead of setting options for other things, we're going to stick with the ones we have and just add three FAR page numbers. In our new document, we now have three pages which you can see over here. One is a regular page, one is a spread. What we want to do is create footers on our spread. What we'll do is double click here on master page and as you can see we're now looking at the two page spread. To put in our footers on our spread we first start by clicking on the T in the toolbar for the text box. You can create a text box by just dragging it and then letting go. It is now able to write in it. In order to put the page number in what you want to do is right click on the box go to insert special character select markers and select current page number it gives you a marker for your page number I would su suggest hitting the space bar a few times and then typing in whatever footer text you would also like to go along with your page number then you can resize your box and drag it down into the corner. The easiest thing to do now is to create another box. Again, we're going to put in our page number and our text. However, our text will go first. We can change the text or keep it the same. What we're going to do for this option is going to, we're going to change the text so that we have alternating text on our pages. Now again, I'm going to put in some space and now I'm going to insert the page number again by right clicking on the box, insert special characters, markers, current page number. Now I have my text and what I'd also like to do is have it write a line. So I write a line it by clicking here. Now I click on the arrow, I drag my box down to my corner and I resize it and you have just created a three page master with alternating footer.